We've got a poorly Neve 1073 on the bench today. It's got an XLR stuck into the line input socket. Um, and it's also got that high Z switch is okay. That just doesn't work. It feels like the whole thing's collapsed in. So we have a replacement switch and a replacement XLR socket. So here we have the XLR which needs to be replaced. This is the switch which needs to be replaced. And we're going to have to take this whole board out. So I think I'm going to have to take this front panel off so I can get to the nuts and washers which actually screw these switches and that one's a bit loose. This first channel one gain knob is okay. This is the first working high Z switch. It's got a nut on there. Um, the trim knobs do not have nuts and that one is actually quite loose. I don't think there's any space to get a nut on there. This is the broken high Z switch and this is the second channel which again is loose you can see. Um, I'm going to need to take this front fascia off, there's a couple of screws underneath. I think the safest option is to actually unsolder these transformers and these transformers and with this front panel off I should be able to slide the board out and then we can flip the board to desolder the components we need to. Won't be able to remove this PCB until I remove this big right hand transformer here. If I'd known that I could have left the other transformer um, connected to it. So gentle persuasion. She's out.
unfortunately this potentiometer's housing pins have broken off the board there's not much I can do with that if we had known we could have ordered this potentiometer as well uh, there's not much I can do with that at all Because as per normal with these sort of wires coming off the transformer they kind of the plastic melts really easily so I'm just going to put some heat shrink on all of those connectors first. Very well then, I'm so confident that this went smoothly that I think I'm going to box her completely up before I turn her on and give her a test. So, yep, everything looks good. Let's do it. So there we go, one fixed up 1073. Um, the loose trim knob, because it's pushed in slightly back because those tags are broken, I can actually put this um, knob cap quite close up towards the fascia here. And that has the effect of uh, stopping it from moving. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, apart from that, beautiful sounding unit. I've tested everything out. Uh, this is now um, I have a 414 plugged into mic channel 1, so I'm just testing the phantom power, and I might as well just switch channels here, let's uh, turn that gain down to channel. the same spot there okay and that's channel two I can't hear that I'll only hear it when I check that back hopefully that will be okay and I'm gonna miss this unit it's actually very versatile with the line inputs the music that you heard earlier um, I have stuck this on the mix bus on an insert on Pro Tools um, and yeah sounds great I love it so until next time Catch you later.